Anka-3 unmanned warplanes developed by TIDE took off simultaneously within the scope of the 110th anniversary of the Kanakale victory. Anka-3, which made its first flight on December 28, 2023, took off from Merted Airfield Command on March 18 as part of the test activity. The formation flight, in which two prototypes participated, emphasized the meaning and importance of victory. The two prototypes reached an altitude of 8,000 feet during the 35-minute flight. During this flight, multiple aircraft control was achieved via a single ground control station and the first phase of the swarm flight was completed successfully. The new generation UAV system Anka-3 has a wide range of missions, from reconnaissance, surveillance and intelligence missions to air ground and air air attacks. It can perform various operations such as neutralizing enemy radars, electronic warfare, communication relay and protection of friendly forces. Anka-3 can carry 650 kg ammunition in two stations in the fuselage, 650 kg in the inner wing stations and 100 kg in the outer stations. Thus, the integration of large ammunition such as SOM-J, MK-82 and miniature bomb, SDB, can be ensured. The testing process of Anka-3, which draws attention with its low radar visibility, high speed capacity and internal weapon stations, continues. In the test flight conducted on March 17, Anka-3 successfully hit the target with the LGK-82 ammunition developed by Aselsan. TUSA's general manager Mehmet Demirolu, in his recent statement, said the following regarding the testing process of the UAV. The tests of Anka-3 are continuing very well. In the past months, we have fired from the internal gun slot. These will continue with our next tests. Double, triple and quadruple shots will be made. At the same time, our negotiations with the Turkish Air Force for the inventory continue. We hope to make design changes in line with their requests and submit it to the inventory in 2026. Our work in this direction will continue.